Big news. IMF XRP partner. XRP to $65,000. The International Banking Alliance uses the Ripple blockchain network technology to increase the efficiency of cross-border payments. Banks in Canada and Israel have signed an agreement with National Australia Bank, NAB, Australia's largest commercial bank, to improve the security and efficiency of their payment systems, exchange innovative strategies, etc. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. Currently, the Ripple Payment Network works with global financial institutions from more than 55 countries. Their on-demand liquidity service, ODL, uses the XRP digital asset to obtain liquidity during cross-border transactions as an alternative to traditional systems. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, CIBC, and Israeli Bank Lumi, recognized small business banks, now use the Ripple Payment Network for cross-border transactions as a result of their alliance with the National Bank of Australia. The partnership aims to improve the quality of customer service by reducing costs, speeding up payment services, and improving security. It is reported that transactions, which could take up to two days to take effect, can now be completed within a few minutes. We believe that this technology can not only make international payments in real time, but also improve the security and efficiency of our payment systems, so this is an important part of the work," the National Bank of Australia NAB, said. A major Australian bank said, We are pleased to work with CIBC and have already collaborated with them in using Ripple blockchain technology to make international payment transfers between our banks as a proof of concept. The Alliance of Financial Institutions is also expected to open new doors for everyone to access first-class international innovative initiatives and ideas, NAB Labs Executive CEO Jonathan Davies said in an official statement from the bank. Our clients want us to do things differently, and this strategic partnership allows us to gain access to the ideas, talents and capabilities of like-minded organizations, in this case, the opportunity to connect with two leading international banks to help us get world-class information from world leaders for the benefit of our customers. The general manager added that this is an opportunity for institutions to develop solutions to common problems, as well as to combine and use global knowledge and ideas to find ways to get ahead in the competitive and rapidly changing world of fintech. Despite the SEC lawsuit against Ripple Labs, the company is strengthening its reputation abroad and maintains several international partnerships. The Ripple network is becoming popular in Australia. This is recognized by financial companies, and the company's members are working together with the authorities of the country, developing a regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies. Last year, the company proposed three principles on which the Australian regulatory framework for digital assets should be based. This was included and credited in the final report of the Senate of Australia Special Committee on Australia as a technology and financial centre. According to RippleNet CEO Ashish Birla, the company ended 2021 with over $10 billion in payments and expanded its on-demand liquidity product, ODL, to 22 target markets. He noted that the ODL product is close to achieving global reach. Birla believes that the rapid growth is due to the higher transaction speed and more efficient use of capital of ODL in contrast to the traditional financial system. At least 38 of the world's 100 largest banks have tested integrated or invested in Ripple's cross-border payment technology, according to XRP Arcade. The largest of them is the Japanese holding Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group, whose assets total more than $2. 5 trillion. The partners of the blockchain startup are also the UK's largest financial conglomerate, HSBC Holdings PLC, is linked to Ripple through SABB Bank. Bank of America cooperating through Merrill Lynch Investment Bank. French financial conglomerate Credit Agricole as a client. The XRP Arcade report emphasizes that in reality there may be more Ripple partner banks. The reason for this is the connection of companies with a blockchain startup through third-party organizations. On January 14, Heath Tarbert, chairman of the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, said that he does not consider the XRP cryptocurrency a security. 
According to him, the status of Ripple tokens remains uncertain when Bitcoin and Ethereum are definitely commodities. Brad Garlinghouse recently posted a tweet by the head of the EU Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, on his page, which led to a new wave of rumors about the close relationship between Ripple and central banks around the world. In this tweet, Lagarde made three demands. I enjoyed marking La Rentrée with Ursula at von der Leyen and commissioners. Here at ECB we see a twin challenge, shoring up our economies for the short run and planning for the future economy. Hashtag next generation EU provides a bridge between them one half https colon slash slash t co slash qrfrx 58 scp. In this tweet, Lagarde noted that the EU economy needs accelerated transition to digital technologies, climate protection as a priority, the created union of banks and capital markets with the support of advanced payment systems. This tweet caused a massive response in the XRP community as people found RippleNet and XRP to be the best solution to these issues. Ripple's top manager Marcus Treacher recently stated that the multinational payments market is on the verge of transformation. However, ISO standardization and the way RippleNet solves the problem through innovation helps redefine transnational payments. According to Tracker, what blockchain and virtual assets like XRP offer could potentially turn into a better payment solution than anything on the market today. He also stated that Ripple intends to eliminate friction with international payments and make sure that cash moves around the world as easily as it currently does. Cooperation with banks and payment operators brings the company closer to this goal. In addition, the tracker added that RippleNet uses the ISO 2022 standard, which also helps to improve the situation. As we reported earlier, Marcus Treacher stated that at the end of this year Ripple intends to open several more ODL corridors for transferring funds using XRP in the APAC and EMEA regions. Meanwhile, Ripple's main partner, MoneyGram, is already entering the mass money transfer market in East Africa. The company does this by joining forces with Uganda's largest commercial bank, Centenary Bank. The potential local market is estimated at about $1.5 billion. Ripple owns about half of all issued XRP, which it uses for investment projects in charitable organizations and also sells them to financial institutions. However, Ripple recently announced its intention to slow down XRP sales. Other ODL Ripple corridors, created together with the money transfer giant MoneyGram, are located in Mexico, Australia and the Philippines. The live XRP price today is $0. 88 US dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of 3,740 million US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.